Last year, Gallery Sakura hosted the first ever custom sneaker exhibition, featuring 400 artists from all across the globe. This year, only 100 artists were invited and 16 of them would be participating in an anime battle. Eight of the best artists from the USA matched up against eight of the best from France. I was asked to captain Team USA in the showdown. Eight of the most popular anime were voted on and then thrown into a random drawing along with each of the artists to determine the match. So the anime they will compete on Attack on Titan. I was matched up against the incredibly talented Nick from Masai Shu's Custom and given the theme of Dragon Ball. Dude, I honestly haven't seen anything from Dragon Ball since it was on Toonami in the early 2000s. I knew I had my work cut out for me since a lot of these other artists really specialize in the anime genre and they have helped make it explode in the world of custom sneakers over the past few years. So I knew I wasn't going to get by just simply slapping a character on the sides of the shoes. This has to be something special as thousands of people will be viewing these up close and personal and comparing and critiquing it amongst all of the other artists. So no pressure. So right off the bat, when you're not as familiar with a given theme, you're going to need to spend more time in the planning phase. You need to really try and familiarize yourself with the source material. Now the other 84 artists in the gallery only had one shoe to work on and their theme had to be based around any villain they wanted. I thought since we had to do a full pair with two shoes for the battle, it would be cool to play along with that concept and do one shoe dedicated to all heroes and the other shoe with all villains. Since I'm going to be doing huge character work all across the sides of these, I wanted to remove the swoosh to give myself one less panel to stretch that artwork across. For the I Stay in Mudguard panels, I really wanted to emphasize some of the distinct visual elements from each character that I think are super recognizable to anybody. On the villain's theme shoe, this would be based around Cell's green skin pattern, and on the hero shoe, Goku's orange training yeah. suit. I also hit all of these panels with a slight airbrush vignette and some cell shading around the stitching. I really didn't know how this effect would turn out since usually cell shading is going to be reserved for a more 2D cartoon-esque design, but when combining that with that airbrush vignette, I think that gave these a pretty cool look. Now it's time for our main background settings, and I knew that I had to do something different than the pre-existing panels that I just painted. I opted for Planet Namek on the Goku shoe, and then I found this really cool image of Goku and Jiren ready to battle that I plan to use as the background on the other. This Planet Namek setting took me three days to complete. I am painfully slow when it comes to painting anything in realism, even though this is for a cartoon show, but something like this landscape style painting just takes me absolutely forever to get through. For the Red Galaxy pattern, I tested out this starburst effect for the first time. I was just playing around with various pre-cut circles of vinyl and it ended up being pretty easy to do. I intentionally laid down a cutout of where I planned to place the characters so that I could add a subtle glow behind them just to make sure they really pop from the background. For the large scale character design, since I wanted to fit as many different characters as possible, I decided to stretch them onto the midsole. I knew that wouldn't be an issue since these were created as a display piece anyway. So I had to spend some time finding just the right poses for each character because I really wanted them to align like how you might see on a movie poster. This was a little tricky to do since you want there to be some cohesion across the two shoes in terms of what poses the characters are doing along with the general composition of them. Once I have those images made, I then like to convert it all into a line work stencil. This helps to basically just separate all the main features of each character so that I can make sure the proportions remain correct. Then it's really just a matter of coloring within the lines to get some of the main color blocking laid in. After that, once we peel up that stencil, it's time to start adding all of our shading. I've then spent the next four days just doing character shading and black outlines. Mm -hmm. 
Many, many toothpicks were lost in the process. Leaning into the overall theme, I really wanted to try and feature that signature Dragon Ball look in a couple different places. This started with a yellow to orange gradient and glossy sheen across both collars. And then for my secret weapon, I grabbed a full Dragon Ball set and planned to use these as my lace locks. So I threw them in the bench vise and drilled right through them. So this is really cool, but I have all of the pairs from Team USA that are participating in this battle here in my studio. All of these artists absolutely crush these. It is so cool to see some of these pairs up close and personal. And I wanted to try to capture some content of all of our pieces together before we go ahead and send them out. Now in terms of the anime battle, there was nothing major at stake, it was all really just for fun, but just for competition's sake, be sure to let me know down below who you think the winner is in each of these matchups. The gallery also made this coffee table style book that features all of the pairs, and this is really cool to show off anytime somebody stops by the studio, some of the crazy pairs that were made for this event. It's truly amazing to see some of the work created by these artists when they're working right in their element, doing what they love, and it's quite an honor to be featured alongside them. So if you enjoyed this video, but now you want to see 10 of the most important lessons I've learned over the course of my career working as a full-time sneaker customizer, make sure you check out this video next. Alright guys, everybody get out there and just create.